The leaked Supreme Court draft opinion surrounding Roe v. Wade continues to spark protests nationwide. Tonight, legislators in the nation's capital and throughout state capitals say they're stepping up work on abortion-related bills. This comes as the U.S. Senate gets ready to vote on a bill next week that would make abortions abortion rights legal across the country. Now, the Supreme Court's final decision on Roe v. Wade is not expected for another couple of months. If struck down by the Supreme Court, abortion rights would be decided by individual states. And that draft opinion on Roe versus Wade is out just in time for us to pivot attention to the midterm elections. Yeah, California is set to send out voter guides on Monday, but a lot of people already have them in their mailbox. So how does the Roe v. Wade fallout affect our upcoming midterm elections, especially with those primaries set for early June? I talked with analysts on both sides of the issue to find out. Republicans are energized this year because there's a Democrat in the White House and Democrats control the House and Senate. However, this may increase turnout on the Democratic side with women and progressives and young people looking to fight against this decision. Laura Fink is a pro-choice political analyst. She says right now candidates across the country just are not advertising their pro-life designation. Here in California, as people move toward being independent and the Democratic Party also continues to grow, that, that pro-life credential does not help you in election. So it doesn't surprise me that certain candidates might be shelving that. Voters are helped along in the process by voter guides, and voter guides traditionally cover a wide variety of issues, letting prospective voters know where potential candidates stand. Wendy Patrick is a conservative legal analyst who says the voter guides you get in the mail are a gold mine for information. She also says with the leak of the draft opinion from the Supreme Court that looks to overturn Roe v. Wade, lots of voters may be energized to make it out to the polls. They may be concerned more about things like inflation, uh, health care, national security, drugs. I mean, there may be other issues that are, are more concerning in post-pandemic 2022 than abortion. But when looking online, we could only find Norale websites listing for candidates across the country who were pro-choice. Finding a similar pro-life resource was a lot harder. Wendy says it's in the works. So while voters may not immediately be able to find what they need online, rest assured within the next couple of weeks, there's a lot going on behind the scenes to make sure that both sides get the information out to prospective voters. Meanwhile, when it comes to our local elections, what can we expect from the Supreme Court's decision on Roe v. Wade? We may see this have more of an impact in the November election than in our June primary. 